Hi, I'm Mark Strollo and I'm here to show you the Keystone Hideout. There are some amazing features on this trailer and I can't wait to show them to you. First of all, I just want to show you some of the construction features here. Get a look at how large that front storage compartment is. Very few trailers out there are going to have a, that wide of a storage, storage capacity up front. It's almost two feet across. It's amazing. The, the hideout by Keystone has a lot of really, really cool construction features. If you can get a shot under this, underneath here, Jeremy, this would, be, this would be great. It's got what they call a cold weather package or a cold mountain package is what they call it. The entire underbelly is sealed and has a hard cover underneath it. So that means its tanks are enclosed above that, that cover. So it actually gives a much more of an R value. So you can camp a little later in the season or a little earlier. So it has what they call a cold mountain package, really cool feature, and that's standard for the Keystone hideout. One of the neat features of the outside is that LED light strip. A lot of travel trailers that are even much, you know, in that really, really high price point don't have that LED, the LED light strip in the awning. So if you can get, you can imagine what this would look like at your campsite real late at night with that LED light on, it looks awesome, looks really, really cool. A uh, couple of things on the outside here. This is really cool. If you've ever seen an older travel trailer, they have rims that are kind of rusty and really hard to maintain. They just don't look good. In fact, I think it really affects resale value to have rims that don't, you know, that don't look good. This here has what they call e-coated rims. It keeps them, it, they don't rust. You know, it's just sim simply put, they're, they're not going to rust. And they're going to look just like this 15 years from now. So that's going to help with resale value. Really cool feature on the outside. If you want to hang on one second, I'll be right back. I'm going to show you something really cool. <clears throat> How cool is it to have your TV on the outside of your travel trailer? How cool is that? You get to have your 32 inch flat screen TV on the outside, just as simply as taking it from the living room area, bringing it outside. Almost every one of the Keystone hideouts has an outside kitchen. Really cool feature. That way you don't have to be in and out, in and out of your kitchen all day. You can have, you've got a little bit of a refrigerator here so you can keep cold drinks in there. You got a sink to wash dishes. You have a two burner stove. Almost every Keystone hideout has that same exact feature. Electric awning is standard. The Keystone hideout is loaded with features and I'm just getting started. <clears throat> Along the back side here, Jeremy, this is really cool. It has a black tank flush, so you can clean out all of the, the inside of all of your holding tanks just simply by pu putting a hose here, and, and, it, and it actually has a wand that's inside your holding tanks and cleans, out, cleans them all out. It makes for uh, your monitor panels and that kind of thing to work uh, much better. It has a real dark tint on the windows, really high-end look. And of course, they have a black frame around that, which keeps the exterior looking really, really sharp. Again, that exterior storage compartment, that's, I think it's bigger than any other travel trailer that we have or that I've seen. You just have a tremendous amount of storage up front of every Keystone hideout. Another cool feature of the up, up front area, Jeremy, is that it has twin 30-pound propane tanks. It has an auto changeover switch. So if one is, is getting low, the other one would fill. But big deal is that's twin 30 pound tanks. A lot of, awful lot of manufacturers are still using the barbecued grill style and they just don't quite last as long. So if you wanna go on those longer camping trips and not worry, ha worry about uh, learning out of propane, the hideout will, will help you there. Just to recap a few things on the outside, a lot of really, really cool features. You have an exterior, your TV you can take from the inside out. Really, really cool feature. It has a heated and enclosed underbelly. So in other words, it has what they call a cold mountain package. Very few RVs in this price point are gonna have that. We also have that LED light strip and the electric awning. It looks amazing. Come on inside. The interior of the Keystone hideout is amazing. It is absolutely just packed with features. There's just so many, I'm not even sure I have enough time here to explain them all. You saw how I took that 32 inch flat screen TV and put it out outside. You've got a cable hook up out there, you've got outlets out there, and you also have a table that can kind of go inside or out. So it's really designed to have like an entertainment, entertainment system inside and outside. This table is a freestanding table, Jeremy, and it can kind of go outside anywhere you want. So you can kind of put this underneath your, uh, or by your TV set outside, and that's, it's really kind of neat. So 
Um, you can imagine how convenient that is to take the TV from inside to out. I love that feature. Um, it also has a, a Bluetooth system. So if you wanted to play your music from your cell phone through the speakers in here, you could do it. That's a really cool feature. It also has a charging center. So if you're like me and your cell phone is constantly always uh, losing power, uh, you can charge it right here. You got a 12 volt charging system and a USB port. Really cool feature. And it's conveniently located. A couple really cool features on the inside here in the bedroom area. It's just not often that you see some of these features. The, it actually has a laundry chute. Every one of the hideouts has a laundry chute, which is great. You put a basket underneath there. Um, you could just kind of throw your dirty laundry right underneath there. In fact, I know some people use it as more of like a, a garbage chute. So they put a little garbage can or a trash can down there and they'll just throw things that they don't need uh, down, down the chute. Really kind of a cool feature. Another neat thing about the interior, Jeremy, is that the height. I believe it's about 81 inches interior height. A lot of the manufacturers are going shorter and shorter here. Here you're gonna have a lot more storage inside, a lot more room in the shower area, so really good height. This is something that you just don't see in travel trailers. It has a stainless steel package. So you have a stainless steel oven, stainless steel microwave, more of like a, a good high-end residential look, which is kind of neat. And, and frankly, the, I think that the, the stainless steel is really easy to clean. So it's uh, kind of neat. You got a stainless steel microwave and a stainless steel oven. Really cool feature. Now, this is one thing that they, it kind of like the Keystone hideout is just kind of one of the first ones to do it. To have a travel trailer in this price point and have a central vacuuming system is absolutely amazing. Usually central vac would be for your big diesel buses, but if it doesn't have a green bag, you know it doesn't have a central vac vacuum system. So if you're looking for a travel trailer, you know, you deserve all these cool features and, and you can get them just depending on what brand of trailer you buy. Central vacuum system is standard with the Keystone hideout. What you do is you just kind of pop it right in there and this will reach to the full length of the trailer. So you could clean up real, real easy uh, all the way through the trailer. Very, very easy to use and it has a, a, a bag that collects everything that you've picked up underneath. So a really cool feature. Remember to always look for the little green bag. If you have a green bag, it's got a central vacuuming system. Uh, so to have a central vacuuming system in a travel trailer in this price point is absolutely amazing. A really cool feature. You don't have to uh, drag a vacuum cleaner with you. You don't have to constantly keep sweeping. Uh, it's just a really cool feature. I love it. Um, here's something super innovative. One of the first manufacturers to use a helium refrigerator. Um, it's much more efficient. It's longer lasting and it's easier to repair. Uh, Atwood, which th th is the manufacturer of the refrigerator, its operating system is, is run on helium. Uh, quite a bit different than your old, older style refrigerators. Um, an, so it's just longer lasting. Another benefit of it is it has a blue light inside, blue LED light inside. So you could, if you can imagine what that blue light does to these, these uh, shelves, when that blue light's on, these kind of glow. It's just a really amazing look. Or if you have like uh, those Budweiser aluminum cans, it just looks amazing. Another really cool feature, and uh, people think I'm crazy because I how much I love this refrigerator, but I'm just thrilled with it. If you are, you get a little careless one day and you left the, you went to shut the fridge door and you left it open a little bit, the Atwood helium refrigerator comes with a door alarm too, so it'll start beeping or or chirping if that door alarm is left open for longer than 30 or 60 seconds. I forget which one it is. So really cool feature. The other neat thing about this is it's seven cubic feet. So a lot of these refrigerators that they put in travel trailers are six cubic feet. So you have a, a bit bigger of a refrigerator, comes standard, it's helium, has a door alarm, has a blue light in it, state of the art, absolutely amazing feature. They're really well thought out floor plans. I've always heard customers say that every hideout has just kind of the perfect floor plan. And they wish that they could put all five or six floor plans and put them all into one. Well. You know, an awful lot of them you'll just see they have a pantry. You know, you don't get that in every travel trailer. So that's a really cool feature. This floor plan, which is called the 27 DBS, has the uh, stacked uh, bigger bunks in the back. Very, very popular setup. Um, a couple of things on the inside here, Jeremy. It has a porcelain toilet. So to, to, to get a feature like that in a travel trailer in this price point is amazing. It's easier to clean and it has a foot flush. So there's really no... It's not a hands-on operating system there. It's just a, it's a porcelain toilet, easier to clean, and it has a foot flush. 
you know, because of that interior height in here, 81 inch interior height, look at the amount of height that you get in the shower. You really just don't find that in travel trailers. So very comfortable bathroom setup. And uh, if you wanted to kind of pan up here, just to uh, kind of recap things for you, Jeremy, in terms of a value in a travel trailer, I don't know that there's a better value out there. It is absolutely loaded with features. Um, we talked about the TV that goes inside or outside. We talked about the LED light in the awning, the heated and enclosed underbelly, the helium refrigerator, the laundry chute. These are things that are really, really hard to find in a travel trailer. And I think that you would be absolutely thrilled to own a Keystone hideout. My name is Mark Strollo and I look forward to seeing you at one of our stores.